On uh, the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's D.C. home hits the market tonight. And only news for is taking you inside. This gated property off Nebraska Avenue Northwest has hosted some of the biggest names in politics and offers the ultimate in privacy, situated on almost an acre of land in one of D.C.'s most exclusive neighborhoods. The 1950s French Renaissance Revival Estate is listed for eight and a half million bucks, if you've got it. Take a look. A lot of people drive by here and they don't know what's behind here. Once you get to come in through the gates, it's really special. My name is Ben Roth from Washington Fine Properties and we'd like to welcome you to Willow Oaks, Late Center Feinstein's estate in Washington, D.C. in the neighborhood of Spring Valley. Willow Oaks is on 0.8 acres, only it really feels like an acre once you're behind the walls. The total square footage is a little over 7,000 square feet. You have three bedrooms in the main house, an additional bedroom above the carriage house, which is three car garage plus the one, one bedroom apartment. You have an additional pool cabana as well as two changing rooms in the rear garden with a very oversized pool, which is fantastic. One of the favorite rooms that we've been told of the late senators was a breakfast room off of the kitchen where she enjoyed sitting, having her breakfast there, overlooking the two willow oaks, which it's named after, the estate is named after, as well as seeing the birds chirping, and she really enjoyed that room every day. The red room is where I believe the senator worked out of a lot of times when she was here. We call this the great room with a beautiful wood-burning fireplace. It's a really, really comfortable room, but then it also leads into this beautiful garden room, which overlooks the pool. There is a famous story in a couple of different publications that talked about at the time Senator Clinton and Senator Obama meeting here, uh, Senator Feinstein invited them over so that they could have a separate meeting. Uh, as we entered into the 2008 election cycle. This is one of the most special properties I've ever listed in my career. Senator Feinstein and Mr. Blum purchased the property in 2001. Years before that, the president of American University actually resided in this residence. What really attracted them to the property is the privacy, the land, and the way you can entertain within the property. You know, everything flows inside, outside, a lot of good circular flow throughout the property. You have a beautiful circular drive, all gated. It's very special. Now, as you know, Feinstein died last year at the age of 90. She made history as San Francisco's first woman mayor and served in Congress for over 30 years. Roth tells us that the luxury real estate market tends to follow political cycles with the rising demand as we get closer to the November election. Uh, and by the way, in addition to her D.C. home, the late senator also owned properties in California, Aspen, Tahoe, and Hawaii.